Alright guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to take off the OEM bracket from your 370Z seat and trying to remove the whole seat off the bracket and trying to put the whatever seat you're using. For me, it's the bright seat. I'm trying to put the bright seat on top of the OEM bracket. It's not the best job. I did some things that are close to, be, to it being done. And yeah, um, after this, I kind of just need to put everything together and that's pretty much it. But I hope you guys enjoy. Um, it's not the best job, but if you guys are broke like me, then obviously you're not gonna wanna pay for 500 bucks just to get a side mount and fucking brackets and all that piece of shit. The shit you gotta buy. But I'm trying, I haven't installed it yet, um, but this is a part one. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. I'm using a simple socket ratchet shit. And this is a size 13, I believe. And I unscrewed this one. There's four of them. There's one down there, and I'm gonna screw them. Hey guys, with some progress, took off the bottom seat. Um, I unscrewed like four things right here and then I had to keep unplugging these two that were connected to the bottom Also, this thing came out freely because I unscrewed the screws, but Now I just got to figure out how to take off of this whole thing right, So now I'm gonna try to figure out to do Remove this whole thing. I found the zipper pretty simple. You just pull it out from Underneath where it's at and there should be a zipper hiding All the way deep in there. I got this one out Gonna unzip that Shows quite a lot Boom, do it with two hands And then slowly unzip it Something's still holding this as well, so I'm gonna figure out What's holding that? Looks like it's, it just looks like a clip. Or could be glued, stitched, stitch on there. As you can tell right there. But uh, this whole setup of the seat. So I'm gonna try removing the whole thing. All right, so I said fuck it and I pulled out the hammies, cut that shit through. And now we'll see what's what else is up with this. Big chat. So I found these two bolts hanging on the side, holding up pretty much the upper half of the seat. So I'm assuming these two got to be on bolts and it'll come off. And the other side has two as well. I'll let you guys know what kind of bolt side that is right now. I think right now I got a one and a half. So let's see if that fits. If not, we'll need a bigger size. Yeah, we'll need a bigger size. And yeah, on both those. All right, so we found the 916 We're gonna go ahead, pull it in there. Freak out of here, mosquito. There you go, one bolt's out. I'm gonna take out the other one. Yep, and you can see it's slowly coming out, so we're gonna unbolt the other side and it should come off. I guess that's not the bar holding it together, it's these little red things. So I don't know what the use for is, but I'm just gonna cut them because we're not gonna need the seat anymore. And just use scissors. That should do it. Boom. Got yourself your own bracket. And that's it. Disassembled as fuck. <sighs> fuck the OEM seats. We're gonna put on the bride seats. I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna do all this because, you know, I'm still, I'm just freeballing this shit. Honestly, I just, I like, fuck it. I wanna put the seats on so bad. I don't wanna pay for a bracket. I don't wanna pay for a fucking all that bullshit so we'll see what else i'm about to do to install those and yeah i'm already in too deep 
can't get back out so let's do it all right guys so i how i took off this fucking plastic is i just held my foot right here picked it up and just broke it pretty much almost snapped in half not really still not that bad looking so yeah um now we're gonna test fit it see how it looks on there stop our money move Fucking falling. That thing's in the way. That that stick. So if that sticks in the way. Then I'm gonna have to take it off so it can fully fit. But it's it's kind of almost in there, you know. Not too much. Doesn't look too bad, but we'll see. All right, guys, I use the flathead to pop that thingamajigger out. Watch out with your fingers because they will fucking snap quick. I'm going to do the same here. And then, uh, there you go. See how quick it responds. So I took that off. It's still on there. Um, if anything, I'm going to have to take off of this, this whole bar too because... Even if I put the bucket seat on there, I'm pretty sure this is going to hit too. And it shouldn't be hard to take off. There's bolts right here. And there's bolts right there in the bottom as well. So, yeah. But first, we're going to try to take off this whole fucking shebang. We don't need it. Alright guys, make sure you guys take off this spring mechanism that is right here holding against it. With the flat head. Same thing with that one. It's the same thing. Let me go ahead. And put your flat head in the front of it. All right, so I found an easier way when it was on here. I put my flat head through it and went like this. And then it just popped out out of place. So now it's out of there. All right, guys. So what I did right now is I unscrewed the 10 millimeters that are right here. And it had this metal bar had four 10 millimeters so we removed both all four and i kept messing with this trying to like take it out and it finally came out this piece so of shit yeah we don't need it anymore um i don't know if this comes out freely as well but we don't need these pieces but it's kind of sketchy now since nothing's holding it so yeah i'm gonna see i'm gonna Put this bottom piece see if it helps but i also got to find out if it's gonna if the seat's gonna be on there securely in a way and flat so yeah all right guys so i'm going to end it there i hope you guys enjoyed i did say this was going to be a part one to this video so stay tuned until the part two but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys till next time peace